Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. They were at property address. Now oh, bear with me. 3818 Southeast Morrison Street here in uh, Portland. Located down in the basement. Going into a four inch cast iron clean out here. Kind of in the laundry area. I'm going to check the overall condition, serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Water is currently running. We're going to zero out here at the base of the stack. Off we go. It looks like I got somewhat of a separated joint there. Although the joint did not appear to actually be open to the ground necessarily. Oh man, that's a wonky set of turns there. Right, that's got a really tricky configuration on it there. All right, we have made it to the exterior. We're now into clay pipe. Oop, and I can tell you right now this thing is, it is done. It's completely loaded up with sewage here. You know, the concerning part about a spot like this, not knowing what the heck you're getting into. I don't know if the pipe here is collapsed. But the line there is completely full of sewage. And it's a six inch diameter line. So whatever you've got going on is severe. And a line this age, it's not the kind of line that makes sense to spot repair. You see something like this and it's just ready to update the line at this point. Whole line is, you know, water's percolating through it appears, but this is a line that's just waiting to back up under the right circumstance. Okay, so where we are right now is we're about halfway between the front of the house and the sidewalk area. It's a pretty short distance from the house to the street, or at least the front of the house to the road. There's a bunch of rat holes directly above where we're sitting at or very close to it which tells me your pipe here is probably busted. You've also got a lot of tree roots that are gonna be in the area, so there's a lot of things that could be causing that. <clears throat> Being that it is that, I, I've had water off now for quite a, for quite a while. The fact that water's not draining off, um, it's not a, a spot there I, I wanna even mess around trying to shove the camera through. The pipe has probably collapsed or severely offset. Anyhow, it's a line that's ready for update at this point, at least on the outside. We'll see how this interior stuff looks. Thus far, all I've seen is a one joint that showed some level of separation in the cast iron anyway. That one had a little bit of bulging fern co, but it's not really doing much. It's just there exposed. Anyway, that joint right there is showing a level of separation too. And this is not stuff I can really locate terribly effective because it's it's right at the front foundation wall in around where the porch and foundation wall are. So, I mean, as it sits right now, I don't see strong evidence that joint is actually open to the ground. We don't have any dirt sticking through it. There's no staining on the side walls to indicate groundwater's coming through there, but it's it's a hard call to make. You know, if you're already out there, if you're gonna be redoing a porch or something like that and redoing enough of the sewer line, it may make sense to deal with it at that point. Right now, it's not affecting anything. The 
plate, the clay pipe is really the big concern here at this point. Now where I located that spot there, I did put a green arrow down just pointing towards the street, but over the top of that spot I stopped at. The line's running a pretty darn straight shot from this from the main stack here all the way out the front. Where I'm locating out in the front yard lines up quite nicely with where the stack is at in the basement. So a pretty simple configuration for the most part. It does have a little bit of a jog there right around where you start leaving the house. But overall runs pretty darn straight. And the cast iron here... Aside from kind of some blemishes there with that joint, um, has held up reasonably well. There's very little to no scale buildup in it. It drains off completely, no buildup. So really th at this point, it's the clay pipe that's the big concern. And where I located that spot was very shortly after we got into the clay pipe. So this is one of those scenarios where it would be ideal, you know, in and around where the repair process is um, to have another set of scope or scoping and locating done. Um, if you're going to go shoving a camera to that spot there for the sake of locating, for instance, it's in a situation I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it unless I knew someone was standing out there with an excavator ready to dig the line up in the event the camera got hung up in the line or something like that. And when you have rat holes, there's like three rat tunnels sitting directly over the top of that spot I located. It's often an indicator your line is wide open to the ground. Um, it can create for some very sketchy situations trying to get a camera through it. So at this rate, what I'm going to recommend here is an update to the exterior portion of the sewer line. Again, I've mentioned the blemishes there in the cast iron. None of them are affecting functionality and none of them show any signs of actually being open to the ground. And they've been that way for decades and decades at this point. It's unlikely they're going to all of a sudden go changing on you.